Hello and everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. And today I would like to talk about fighting against a European knight. Let's get to it. Alright then, back on topic. As you can see, I found my small microphone, which is good for now, considering I'm waiting for my other uh, new microphone, which will be a, a microphone which will be set up perfectly, so you won't see it anymore. But for now, let's use this in order to have a better audio uh, quality. So, today we're going to talk about facing a European knight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, this is a topic that I wanted to address because I often talk about this with people, um, people of several several kinds of people, to be honest, from LARPers to um, history enthusiasts to lots of different people, video gamers, etc. And it's one of the topics that really drives me nuts the most. So I thought there would be a good idea to make a video. I'll try not to make it a, you know, I'll try to make it more of an educational video rather than just a rant, but we'll see. But sometimes we might get a little um, in between. The thing is, when we talk about medieval knight, well, let's let's consider for now the uh, like a late 14th uh, century to 15th century knights. We're talking about full plate armor because that is the kind of knight that most people have in mind when they think of the concept of a knight, even if you're if they're not into uh, European history and reenactment. So that is the idea of the knight we're going to talk about today. Now, whenever I talk to people, often I notice, particularly from young people, but sometimes also from, for, from middle-aged uh, people, uh, I hear many times uh, people telling me, oh, it's very easy to fight a knight, I can destroy a knight. And when I say, excuse you, um, <laughs> how do you what, what do you mean? Like, what, what am I supposed to say? Um, I notice two categories. Tell me if this happens to you as well. You have people whose knowledge and concept of a knight, and particularly armour, uh, comes from love. Uh, LARP and, and video games and role-playing games and Hollywood for example and these people normally say this oh, a knight I can destroy a knight it's not a problem he can't move he's very slow I'm very quick because I don't fight in, in armor I can overpower him and then kill him when he's tired blah 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 but this is the first thing immediately can tell that they have no idea how armor works the second category is a little more subtle because they do know how armor works because they've either um, read stuff or read uh, manuals for example they, they know what half sorting is etc and perhaps they've been watching youtube channels educational youtube channels on on HEMA but they come to the same conclusion which is still I can destroy a knight, not a problem. I just half sword and I hit him under the armpit. Or perhaps if they're fighting, the, con the same concept can be applied to a samurai, for example. Oh, easy, you can just, you know, you just feel, got a few more uh, areas. Uh, for example, I can hit him in the face between the plates of the mask, or I can hit him in the feet, blah, blah, blah. Now. Pack it in. Now, you see, this is where things stupefy me, because, I mean, a knight is, n first of all, and let's establish this, a knight is not a moron covered in steel, alright? A knight is a professional, was a professional combatant most of the times. So, um, someone who knew how to fight, someone who knew uh, how to use their armors, and most importantly, and this is really the point I'm trying to make with this video, someone who knew as much as you hypothetical uh, opponent of the knight, um, the weak spots of his armor. So whenever we discuss, I think we've been focusing a bit too much, and perhaps not you, but I'm just saying, um, we've been focusing too much on these manuals that uh, are, are fantastic, okay, so-called manuals, we're talking about treaties, of course. They are fantastic because they show us these techniques, but that doesn't mean that it was easy to perform these techniques on a trained knight. Um, it was never this that the, the these treatises were meant to tell us. These treatises were made for those people who knew how to fight, most likely, and they were training in combat, and they wanted to try and find a way to overcome an opponent in full plate armor, because it's a very difficult thing to do. Armor gives you an enormous advantage in combat. Does that mean that a knight in armor is invulnerable? No, there are some weak spots, hence the development of these uh, treatises. But the idea of, um, you know, half-sorting, getting close, and 
manage to hit the armpit of a knight. Um, or for example, uh, make him lose his balance and then open the helmet and, and subdue him with a dagger or, or, or rondella or something like that. It's, it's easier said than done. So all these techniques, and again there are quite a few, uh, are possibly the only thing that could actually work. But again, you need a lot of training and your opponent is expecting you to do that. So let me give you a, an example of this, all right? And I am half soldier. Please keep in mind, this is sharp. So um, I'm half soldier like this and I am going for the armpit. Well, first of all, again, my opponent, let's say that my opponent is in full armor. Let's say that I am the knight now, okay? So first of all, if my opponent is not in armor, I am not going to half sword myself most of the time. It's just me, okay? I'm not saying this is a standard rule, but this is, I'm saying what I would not do. I would use my longsword the standard way uh, because I don't actually need to pierce you. If you don't have, arm, have armor or you only have, for example, a, a gambeson, which again, yeah, gambeson is an excellent form of protection, but doesn't cover your full body. Um, I'm just going to use my longsword um, the standard way and I'm I'm just going to say, you know, come close, I'll cut you open. So this is what I would do. Um, so again, look at this position. I'm just saying one possible position, there are several. But please keep in mind, I would use a position which keeps my elbows tucked in and most importantly, my armpit, armpit is not um, easy to reach. Because I have this in mind, I know this, okay, as a knight, this is my weak spot. That if I fall on the ground, I might be in trouble, okay? So these are the things that I will definitely try to prevent. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm not going to fight like this. And this is never going to happen, okay? If I know that this is the only thing that can really endanger me. Which of course happens all the times in games and, 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 and films. Thus, we now started to expect our opponent to do that. He's not going to do it. Give it a 95% chance. Even in the case of samurai combat, we know that samurai armor has got a just a few uh, more weak spots than European armor uh, has. Uh, for example, there is a space in between the mask that can be reached uh, sometimes even, and not all samurai armor has the feet covered. Sometimes they have, for example, my 16th century suit of armor doesn't have um, protection on the feet. But again, if someone comes to me and tries to poke my feet, I mean, what would you do to an opponent who is in this position? Decapitate? Cut his head off? Uh, it's not easy to reach those spots that a person knows are his weak spots. So again, for example, even a Roman, uh, when you are in combat and you know your face is unprotected, you know, people often tell things such as, oh, but if I were to stab you in the face, right, try. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know that's the only place you're going to hit, so that's definitely why I'm not going to... Well, that's where I'm going to protect myself, because that's the only place I need to protect myself. Um, in Roman armor, I don't need to protect my shoulders. I don't care about my shoulders. In full European armor, I don't need to protect my core, because I know that this is where I... The, the thickest part of my armor, my armor is taking care of that. And this means that I have a lot less spots. Uh, for example, even here, you know, the... Um, this is a part where there isn't um, a plate, so this is a part that is considered to be a weaker spot. Again, here, here, the armpit and a few others might be the only spots that I need to be careful of. All the rest, I don't care. Now, if my opponent, of course, is going for a murder stroke, then it's a completely different kettle of fish. I need to be careful uh, where he's going to hit me. But again, if he hits me in the core, most likely not going to be a problem. If it hits me in the head, head it might be. So this is where I'm going to make sure I don't lose my guard. Now, this is me hypothetically speaking about these things. Imagine a knight who's been training for this uh, for years. And he knows because of this, his combat experience that, for example, when he uh, tries a specific kind of attack, then he kind of uh, loses the possibility to protect himself in a certain area, so he knows all these things. He might even try uh, to do, um, to cover himself and attack at the same time. So there are a lot of possibilities. So, what I'm trying to get at is, yes, these techniques were very effective and these techniques can be done, but we should not consider uh, these techniques easy to perform. Just as much as we should not consider easy uh, any technique in any form of martial art. And please keep in mind that I'm using the word martial art in its true sense, meaning 
Oriental martial arts and Western martial arts. Considered in Mars, the god of war, it's a Western thing, because I don't like it when people... I'm into Japanese martial arts, but I don't like it when people just refer to martial arts and they immediately mean karate, kung fu, etc. No, no, no. Martial arts is everything throughout the world. European martial arts are martial arts. I mean, he my martial arts, you know what I'm saying? But still, what can you do? The power of media. We sometimes oversimplify things too much when we imagine hypothetical combat situations and we should consider the fact that a medieval knight would not have gone into the hassle of first of all buying and again, you know, some suits of harness, full harnesses could cost as much as a sports car would cost now, uh, now in, in our day and age. So first of all, they would not go through the hassle of purchasing that and secondly, wearing it and training to fight effectively in it, if it didn't actually give you a massive advantage over your opponent. All right then, well I hope you enjoyed this video, please let me know what you think in the comments below and what technique you feel is the most effective. What would you use? Would you half sword? Would you go for the murder stroke? Or would you try to unbalance your opponent? Please let me know in the comments below. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye. Well then, thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. Bye.